Okay, and then this side gets softened up as it goes to the distance. But anyways, we're staying basic, all right? Spotlight, or highlight, is the final most um, exciting part of your drawing. Pretty sure every artist out there gets pretty excited when it comes to highlights. Once it, when it's time to do the highlights, you go crazy. But it's very important not to get caught up or too excited and go crazy with that. Highlight. Where the highlight at? Where the highlight at? For lighter colors, for something like a highlight, I normally just choose any really white color area, which is the canvas itself. See? Eyedropper tool, canvas, bow. Highlight. See? Huh. We can make it darker. Huh. Oh. See that? Now it's three dimensional. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> That's your highlight. Let's let's write highlight. Highlight. Hi. Light. I don't know why they have these G's. I had a long discussion why why words have these G's. Now rendering it rendering it out how do we do that there are two ways you can render these guys out rendering meaning clean it up clean it up two ways number one you can go to the indiv individual layer and erase out the portions that you don't like see I took an eraser E tool using the same brush and I erased it up see how fast that was I wasn't so con concerned with all these crazy things, like um, the uh, you know the things, and um, you know that shadow. Let's just for for the cash shadow. Let's do some let's do something crazy because it's in, a, in the wrong spot actually. How do I know? I just I'm just guessing. I can move the layer around like I said before. Watch this. Pressing V for move, and I move it. I feel like this is much, much better placement than that. Just for some reason, you know, it just feels like it follows the line of action, the line of uh, per project trajectory. I hope, hope, hopefully, I'm using the right words. So yeah, that's how you can clean it up by going into each individual layer and using your eraser tool and and just um, tightening it up. The, the better way of doing it, or the more um, efficient way, and the more committed way, is to open up a new layer, and we'll call it Final Render. Okay, we'll call that Final Render. That is on top of your lines. That means we're going to paint on top of the lines. Huh. Pretty crazy, huh? Alright. So what you do is get your trusty eyedropper tool. Alright. Suck that color up. Make it bigger using the bracket tools. And just going over it. See? Clean it up. Clean it up, 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 And if it's too far, instead of using your eraser tool, paint it out. Paint it out. Paint it out. Paint it out. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Paint it out. Paint it out. Paint it out. Paint it out. Even the lines painted out. Watch this. Paint it out. I forgot to mention what I'm doing. Option cool. Cool. Option option tool. Select the color. The dark one. Shrink it. Paint it out. Look at that. I'm making thinner lines. Watch this. This one? Option tool. Select that color. Paint it out. Huh. And lightly stroke it. See? Lightly stroke it. 
Nice. And just you see that here, this nice hard edge right here. It's really strong. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. The product of 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 light and shadow. And reflected light. Equals core shadow. Alright. Core shadow. Core shadow. I forgot who said it that way. This is the highlight. 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 Height. Dang, too many letters. Um, core shadow highlight. This guy here is a product of light and reflected light. See? So light and our light equals let's do the old elementary style core shadow mm -hmm. go back to your rendering good wanting to erase some of the lines leaving some of the lines lost and found okay depends on what you want want it to look like option just erasing this out here option erasing some of this guy out here all right. Now this is going to be finalized. You're not going to move things around. You're not going to move layers around, move layers around anymore, because you're done. You set everything up. There's nothing more to do. If you move stuff around, watch what happens. Remember what I said. It's good to 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 create your layers on top of the background layer instead of drawing on the background layer. It's because of this. White also moves. See. So you can imagine, if you were drawing on the background layer, then you would be moving all that white stuff around, and you wouldn't be able to to have transparent things, okay? So it's best to, to do it that way. Okay, good. We can make a second rendering layer. This is another step I'd like to do. So rendering doesn't have to be limited to one final layer. All right, you can be committed and not committed at the same time. Uh huh. We'll call it render two. Render two. Sorry, final. The un the, all the all the things that I painted, I'm gonna soften it all up. So, for example, all this all this uh, frilly looking stuff. Select the lighter color, all right? Select the lighter color and just. Well, that wasn't a good example. Select the lower opacity. 30. 30. We're blending. We're blending. We're softening. See? Softening. That's as much as I want. All right? Now I'm going to choose between those guys. I'm going to soften these guys. And I'm just going to keep working until it gets softer and softer. So, yeah, I'm going to go back on top of it. And I'm going to soften it like that. I'm going to, right between these guys, soften it like that. Okay? Until you get the nice... Soft, smooth. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. See that? That didn't look good. So, option tool to this gray. Come back in. Oh, not too much. So not too much. See, this is hard edge. So you get this color, and you fight him back. You push him back. Push and pull. Push and pull. That's getting tricky over there. Oh, it's getting really tricky. It's getting really tricky. You go inside, and then you go over here, and you lower your opacity. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, when you're doing the rendering stage, what's nice, what you can do, is lift up your image size resolution to 300. See? Resolution level 300. 